hello, Leo. It looks like we have a situation ship here standing in between you and your empress. What are you going to do? Let's dig in to find out. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. This is Leo Tarot Reading. It is a general reading for April 25th through May 1st. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. Dark Harlequin, number 27, reduces to a nine. That's come up for someone else last week. Who was it? It says, bells are ringing from deep inside. Something that once had to hide is seeking your attention. It wants out. It wants to be free. As you release what, what was once shut away, your discomfort shall turn to glee. Hmm. So this, this feels like a self-discovery bit that is now kind of going off like an alarm clock. I'm, I'm literally seeing the little white rabbit, Alice in Wonderland, chasing his little clock. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what energy is going to complement the dark Harlequin. Okay. Hmm. Your commitment is being tested. This, it might have been these same exact two cards that came up together, too. Hmm. Do I want to go with this one? No. I'm going to go with this one again. Okay. Then let's go with this one. Show me what's going on with Leo, please. I don't think the commitment that's being tested is the commitment you think. But let's see. Ooh, that's the truth. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Eight of Swords. The Hanged Man. Eight of Cups. Page of Swords. Hierophant, card of Taurus, Queen of Swords. I just heard the truth is your heart lies elsewhere in a Two of Cups situation that was abandoned. Well, that really sets the tone for the reading. <laughs> okay, Hierophant, card of Taurus. Queen of Swords, air signs here. So Leo, I'm going to read this side as you, this side as your person, and this is a situation. This is a stalemate situation. Both stagnant, both stagnant, unwilling to make a decision about the connection, one wanting to leave this commitment behind. And it looks like the truth is this person has their sights set on elsewhere. So the bell that's ringing from deep inside once was hidden, but now wants your attention. This, it's finally time to make a decision on this relationship. It's finally time. Okay. Let's see where we go. And your commitment is being tested. It's not this commitment. It's not this commitment. Okay. Two of swords. Oh. Yeah, there's a choice for new love elsewhere. There's, yeah. Y yeah. There's, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just seeing it in my head. It's like, yeah, you need, you need to be somewhere else. 
Yeah, Ace of Wands. Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Six of Wands, Ten of Wands. It, yeah, it's time to get going. Like now. For this Queen of Wands you held out on. Okay. Okay. So, being indecisive about the choice for new love, new passion, that is quite balanced divinely guided but it would it means that you have to put down what has become burdensome in order to you have to unburden yourself to make the journey lighter to make it easier to move forward you both do okay eight of swords let's expand on the eight of swords here Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, this connection has made you so exhausted that like the thought of moving forward or moving forward quickly is also exhausting. <laughs> hmm. You thought it you yep, you thought it was a soulmate connection. It's it's not. This other person could have been your secret. Not even the secret you actually crossed the line with, but you knew. You knew that there was something there, something to be explored. It's like you stayed in this for so long, you let it drain you, and now you don't have energy to actually go after what's good for you. Okay. Eight of Cups. Let's expand on the Eight of Cups, please. Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. Card of Aquarius and Scorpio. As so, it's when you exit, this is when the sadness and the doubt will be healed, and with that comes breakthroughs. Breakthroughs that inspire courage and connection to your intuition. Okay. Okay, Hierophant. Let's expand on the Hierophant, please. Card of Taurus. Three of Cups. Strength. Card of Leo again. Justice. Card of Libra. Knight of Wands. Three of Swords. This connection that you want will require change on your part okay it will require change on your part and that's part of what is kind of holding things up because you're so exhausted you've been through this situation for so long it's like well, I don't have to do anything else why should I have to I've already been through all this stuff right what fell out Eight of Wands again. Momentum is trying to happen. It is trying to happen. Okay, let's let's clarify their side. Let's start with the hangman, please. Okay. The lovers, card of Gemini. Queen of Swords again. The full, yeah, she's stuck on moving on too. There's, oh yeah, there's, there's ego involved here that's holding them up from moving on as well. Knowing, knowing, like battling the full energy, literally battling the full energy. Okay, page of swords, lots of swords on their side. Two of Swords again. Because already put in so much work, why leave this behind now? Devil, Capricorn energy, Tower, Eight of Pentacles. It's quite possible they don't, like, if you have been bankrolling their life, they don't want to go back to work. So they're going to try to reconnect things with you again. 
Okay, they're, they're going to try to come back and smooth this over so they don't have to go back into the workforce because they don't want to. Queen of Swords. Let's expand on the Queen of Swords, please. Yep. Going to present that Ace of Cups quick. Wanting that new partnership. They're going to apologize for their BS from before. Look at all the good times we've had. Please, let's make this ha They're really going to... Wow. Okay. So it is destiny for you to choose. What do you want? Do you want your Queen of Wands? Or do you want your Empress, who is a fated partner for you? This is also a fated decision. Okay. This person is going to be like, remember all the good times? Let's go do all those things again. And nah, 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 nah. But there's an alarm going off within you. You have to choose. Do you want this person? Do you want your empress? This is breaking down. You have the tower on both sides. This, this connection is breaking down. Do you let it be a phoenix and regenerate? Or do you move forward? with your empress. They're really going to lay it on thick, okay? Remember all this fun stuff we used to do? Let's go have these adventures to rekindle everything again, okay? So be ready for all of that if it hasn't started happening already. Be surprised if it haven't. But the situation at hand is the indecision on a brand new beginning in love elsewhere with your empress. Or restarting this thing. Okay. So I'm going to go to the extended. And I'm going to look into your empress. Because I really don't care about this person. <laughs> um, because this they operate from a point of ego. With the five of swords and the rest of the swords around them. They operate from a point of ego. They just don't want to go back to work. They got used to whatever lifestyle that you gave them as a result of partnering with you. <coughs> so, excuse me, I'm going to head to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with your empress currently. I'm going to see what's going on with her in the near future, as well as the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to follow me at the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.